Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo, how was everybody doing this wonderful morning? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get into my picks, let me introduce myself, guys. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. And everything I just said will be in the comment section and description section of this video. All right, guys. So today is Wednesday. So I'm going to call it Win Win Wednesday. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to post a link to my motivational video. It will be in the comment section of this video and everyone who goes on to my video actually go on the video hit the like button and comment something you know you like the video whatever just a, a just some kind of comment and i'll give you my top 20 players list for free so you do something for me i'll do something for you all right guys so yesterday our pitcher did absolutely amazing paxton he didn't give up any runs in his six innings of work and then we had one hitter that did well, our bat catcher. He did well for the Angels. But LeMayhew's 14-game hitting streak came to an end. That's the bad in DFS. It happens. So we'll just make up for that today. All right, so today we have a huge slate. And I can look at the slate. I can tell where people will make a lot of mistakes. So I'm going to try to help you guys so you guys don't make those mistakes all right first i'm giving you pitcher means now the baltimore oreos is going through a dismal season but the one bright spot is this kid who wasn't even a lock to make the team coming out of spring training he was the last player select selected on the the roster and he is and, he, uh, and he's just been selected to the all-star game now he has been just a he's been a, a breath of fresh air for this team He's one of the only pitchers, him and Bundy, who have been pretty consistent. If you look at his numbers, he's been he's been doing well. He's been he's been um, pitching pretty well. And since Tampa is a a pitcher friendly ballpark, and Tampa won the first two games of the series, I expect the Orioles to come out blasting. Um, I think one of the top hitters from Tampa Bay won't play. He fouled a few balls off of his leg. Kamire homered yesterday, so. I believe that the Orioles are going to win this game. So Means will be my pitcher, my first starting pitcher. Next, I'm giving you his bat catcher, Cisco. Now this guy is just on fire. And if you look at his numbers so far against left, I'm against right-handed pitching, and it's gonna be two righties that's gonna be called upon to go against the Orioles today. So I love Cisco's his upside today and i know he's going to be low on because everybody says you know tampa bay is a is a pitcher friendly ballpark but it seems like every game there's at least one home run hit yesterday kyle meyer hit one i believe cisco i believe the oreo is going to hit two home runs today and cisco will be one of them all right next i'm giving you pete alonzo this rookie is on pace to just shatter pretty much every record um he's done something that trout hasn't even done look at his home run totals and and he's and it's just his rookie season he has 28 home runs i mean that's amazing you got some hitters that's been in, in major league baseball for five and six years that has never had a 28 home run season we're halfway through this guy's on pace to do to put up 55 home runs and i love p picking on pitchers that are coming off the dl and the, and Jermaine, he has some excellent stuff, but he throws a lot of balls directly down the middle. And you throw a fastball over the middle to this guy, he's going to knock it out the park. And I expect Alonzo to, to hit a home run today. And I expect the, um, the Mets to actually beat the Yankees. All right, guys, so next and last but not least, the Boomstick. Play of the night is none other than Conforto. Now, Conforto is in a massive slump, guys. He has six home runs, I mean, 16 home runs and 43 RBIs. But he got a hit yesterday. He actually had a, a double in, in, in late in the game to actually win. 
Now, the Yankees is coming off of that long, long flight from overseas. They played the two games against the Red Sox. And after you play your arch rival Red Sox, it's a little hard to get up for the New York Mets. That's why I think the Yankees will have another letdown today. I think that they're going to lose this game. I think Jermaine, with his first game back from the DL, I don't think he's going to get blasted for like 10 runs, but I think he's going to give up about four or five in the first inning. Because coming off the DL, your first game back, it's hard to make your pitches for the first inning. And if you watch baseball, pitchers get blasted in the first inning or the third time through the order. So I think Jermaine's going to get blasted in the first inning, then he's going to correct the ship and then do fairly well for the next three or four innings. But I think that the Mets are going to blast him in the first inning, and Conforto will be my home run lock of the night. All right, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to help you guys for some players to stay away from. If you look at the pitchers today, everybody and their mother is going to pick Sale in Toronto. Toronto is one of the most hitter-friendly ballparks. I think Sale gets blasted tonight. Um, Bueller, I'm on the fence with Bueller. Like I said, I believe Jeremiah gets blasted. Clevenger, I think he does well. Sonny Gray, I think he does well. Kyle Gibson, I think he gets blasted. Cannon, I think he gets blasted. Darvish, I think he's going to be decent. Kelly, I think he's going to be the surprise of the night. I think he's going to do well. Um, Wainwright. That's a, a a game I'm gonna stay away from because Seattle, they're hot and cold. But when they're hot, they're really hot. When they're cold, they're really cold. Vargas, he's gonna get blasted. Archer is gonna be decent. He'll probably give up three three runs or less. Leak, like I said, I'm staying away from that game. Seattle is depleted right now. Their um their star hitter Azuna is hurt, so that's the power. So other than you know DeJong. And Carpenter, this is kind of a cake lineup. Um, Wade Miley, I'm not messing with any pitcher in Colorado. I don't need to talk about the Colorado game. That's a common sense game. And Duffy at home, I like Duffy at home. That's another pitcher-friendly ballpark. Um, Anderson, I don't really like this game. San Diego is a hard place to hit, but I believe San Diego is going to hit Anderson. And Anderson going against Minnesota. I'm staying away from Minnesota. I don't I never I never pick pitchers going against Minnesota anymore. I learned my lesson. This team can just hit. And I don't pick pitchers going up against Atlanta. That's another team that could hit. Gerardo is going up against LA. I'm not messing messing with them either. So that's it, guys. So that's it, guys. So I am on. So that's it, guys. I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. So, guys, I am on to today. So, guys, if you made it this far, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. And also subscribe to me, guys. This is how my channel grows. And if you like the video, share it on your, um, on your Twitter page, your Facebook page. And, guys, don't forget to go and go on to my positive motivational video. Hit the like button. Remember, I can see if you like the video. And leave a small comment. And then reach out to me on Twitter, and I'll give you my top 20 players list to try to help you guys cash. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. Don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And ladies and gentlemen, I wish everyone good luck on their DFS. And also, have fun on the 4th of July, but be safe and watch a lot of fireworks. Love you. Hey, everybody, this is Vaughn the Stat Man. And I just wanted to send a positive word out to everybody. I know that everybody that's watching this video, you want to be better people. You want to grow. You want to expand. And I know you want to be successful. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to have patience. You have to have persistence. And you got to be dedicated. You have to really go at it 100%. And you have to just take a, take a, a leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen. Take chances. You're going to make mistakes, but make them big. If you don't jump, you'll never have success, ladies and gentlemen. And success is, 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 is something that we all can obtain. You have to see a goal. You write it down because then it put the onus on you to make something happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, just stay focused and you'll attain all that you desire. Love you guys.